Hey guys, we have a very powerful month of February that we need to talk about. Every week we have energy coming through that is really pushing for, promoting, and provoking probably some really deep personal changes going on. By the time that we get to the end of this month, we are probably going to feel quite detached from who we were maybe just a couple of months ago and really feel ourselves aligning with perhaps this phase of rebirth or personal recreation or re-identifying ourselves or redefining ourselves somehow that is just kind of like organically happening. Um, every week this month, we are primed for some pretty significant intensity. We have Mercury, Moon, Mars, Venus, Pluto conjunctions happening like back to back to back to back to back. Lots of Uranian energy as well. I'm telling you guys, um, radical and dynamic transformation happening on a very personal level, but also some things really coming to a head on a collective level as well. Uh, powerful information and powerful forces maybe pitted up against each other, vying for power, um, revolution and rebellion. This month is going to be, uh, this month is probably going to be pretty wild, you guys. Let's get into it. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Aubrey. In this video, we are going to be talking about the month of February 2024 from an energetic perspective and... Um, talking about all that might be going on in our reality based on all that is playing out in the cosmos. So let's get into it, you guys. We are going on a journey this month of February. And, um, you know, it could really bring us up against some difficult stuff. We could find ourselves navigating some very difficult challenges. There is a a very potent force for both destruction and regeneration that is calling most of the shots right now, I feel like, on an energetic level. And um, this is going to be a month where we just really notice that things are not the same anymore. And I feel like there's going to be a lot of things coming to a head a lot of breakthroughs, uh, but also tensions are likely to be running super high. And this is probably going to be a very, very intense energetic month. Each week, you guys, we have a personal planet that is coming to its own conjunction with Pluto at zero degrees of Aquarius. To me, this really is sort of like hitting kind of like the factory reset button in terms of you know, the multidimensional nature of our energy bodies, essentially, you know, we, we start out the month with a Mercury Pluto conjunction at zero Aquarius. The very next week, we have both a moon and Mars conjunction at zero Aquarius. The week following that we have a Venus conjunction at zero Aquarius. And remember when Pluto entered the sign of Aquarius, he did so in a conjunction with the sun that gives us sun and moon, Mercury, Venus, Mars, all of the personal planets having conjoined Pluto at zero degrees of the sign of Aquarius by the time we get to the end of the month. We also have a Venus and Mars three-day conjunction as we get towards the end of the month. Uh, relationship themes and dynamics probably going to take a significant prominence. Transformations, endings, and beginnings in these regards as well. We also, you guys, have reached the uh, period of time where there's going to be two weeks in the month of February where the north node of the moon, the destiny point, our collective you know, next phase of growth and evolution is gonna be lining up exactly with Chiron in the sign of Aries. I have been talking about this coming for a while now. This is indicating to me um, a collective hero's journey that we are going to be on. And Chiron energy, it, Chiron is the wounded healer, teacher, master archetype. When we're dealing with strong Chiron energy, there is usually some type of damage that is inflicted, some type of wound that is 
you know, generated somehow some type of state of victimhood that is provoked as a result that we need to learn to conquer, overcome, and release so that we can gain the wisdom associated with that experience, which then leads to the state of self-mastery and self-empowerment associated with that experience as well. This is going to be a very empowering month on some levels, but a lot of this empowerment may also come through, you know, being put in a position where we've got to pull something out of ourselves that maybe we didn't know was there, we didn't know we had within us. People are going to be surprising themselves throughout the course of this month and they're going to be surprising other people as well. This is... um this is likely to be a period of time where the people that you have known, you know, your whole life and always have known to be a certain way are just really shocking and surprising you. Personal transformation that's happening very suddenly. It's just totally like all over the blueprint of this chart. And again, you know, of course, if people are sort of just changing spontaneously this is going to impact relationships which are definitely definitely the highlight as we move towards the end of the month and then what's really interesting okay is we actually the energy that we are ending this month in as well we have been in a very like high pitched high octave like high octane um like like all uh like like flashing forward all systems go like surging ahead type of energy for this past couple of weeks very strong uranian energy you know mars and mercury traveling together um you know squares to uranus trines to uranus all types of it like activations along the uranian aquarian line pluto is zero aquarius uranus station Uranus is a planet that rules like lightning. Things happen instantaneously, okay? Uh, and, you know, with all the other energy that's with Mars, Mercury as well, like this really has been sort of uh, lifting the flood floodgates or whatever. Like things have been, you know, we've been in the clear for a lot of forward momentum and movement. But as we get to this last week of February, we have a very prominent Mercury, Sun, Saturn conjunction that's happening in the sign of Pisces. I feel like we're going to be sort of like slamming on brakes or at least pumping the brakes somehow as we get towards the end of this month. Something, you know, that we're taking seriously. There's just this more like somber, sober, serious tone about things. Like we're taking things seriously. Like, you know, we're, we're really, as I said, kind of like pumping the brake on some stuff we might find ourselves like coming to like maybe like a you know just a halt or pulling back in some way you know somehow but regardless you know of how this manifests there's likely to be an energetic shift or just like this prominent vibe that uh puts like a more uh like serious bent on things okay as we get towards the end of the month and causes people to you know maybe just uh slow down or you know look at things a bit more critically perhaps as we move towards the end of the month but this same energy that may be like uh like provoking these themes to manifest i also feel like is simultaneously indicating some type of you know dissolving or disillusion or erosion of as i've been talking about uh like systems of control from the past or authority or you know the the like the mental structures and the like frames of mind and stuff that have stabilized our reality like there's likely to be some type of you know even like revelations or discoveries about things from the past like gaining a new sense of clarity about things that have gone on that changes the rules somehow um and you know throughout this month of february as you know, we've been talking about throughout the month of January also, like there is this need, okay, to practice self-governance maybe in some ways that we have not had to up until this point of time. As we go through this transition that is unfolding this month, you know, that was really activated with those big transits that we had play out in January, um, a breakdown in centralized control and traditional systems of authority, of control, you know, just standard like societal norms and stuff like that as well ways of doing things for long periods of time the rules that we've been following uh you know the the structures that we've been existing within 
the foundations that we've been standing on uh, perhaps beginning to break down somehow or just go through some type of radical change. This is, I was also thinking about it, like it's sort of, you know, kind of like along the lines of, although I do honestly think it's probably going to be more extreme than this example, but it's sort of like if you your entire life have been, you know, brought up in like a very rigid system of like, you know, raised a certain way, very scheduled, you know, even in like very early childhood and stuff and then going through the school system and then going to college and then maybe like become like working um, for some big business or corporation and being very, you know, structured in the way that your, um, your, your days were and like having, you know, someone that you worked for and certain processes and procedures and rules that you follow that are put in place by, you know, the institution that you work for, like whatever your career, you know, requires or whatever, but you know, where you were sort of your entire life, like following the rules or following the process or following the procedure or the protocols that are placed by some type of, you know, governing authority or higher up or, you know, boss, whatever. And then like finding yourself suddenly in a situation where you are like working for yourself or, you know, working from, you know, home or just like doing something that is, you know, requiring you to not need to follow anybody else's rules or guidance or system or structure or a protocol and like all of a sudden you know you find yourself having to figure out how to organize your own time and like sketch structure your own schedule and you know be self-motivated and self-disciplined in a way to get the results that you want now that you are in charge of you know your own work day you know that type of thing and like I said I do feel like that is kind of the the way that this transition from the centralized control systems and you know the 3D matrix that we've been so ingrained in for so long coming through this uh, new Pluto Aquarius generational energy moving us forward towards this you know more age of Aquarius energy that we are inching towards right now and solidifying <laughs> at least for the course and empowering for the course of the next 20 years the Uranian Aquarius tendencies to you know root the future in the present and move towards activating some type of higher potential or some type of destiny in alignment with like a greater unfolding cosmic blueprint which of course is what I always talk about navigating or narrating the shift of the ages on this channel but you know as we are moving in that direction and things are you know we're moving from the centralized control to this decentralized control and we're moving from this uh, uh, very authoritarian uh, energy that's been empowered by the plutonic forces and you know Pluto empowering the systems of the past and the centralized control to you know Pluto now empowering like the decentralization of everything and the individual like we are going from existing within like somebody else's operating system to existing within our own operating system and we need to figure out how to make the most of that so throughout this month of february i feel like despite we have to realize okay there's th this time it's sort of like um it depends on how you're looking at things and our perspective is going to be very important. And I think that as we move through this energy, we should all have expectations, okay, that things are working in our favor and that obstacles to our, you know, growth and true success and, you know, us fulfilling some higher purpose for ourselves is being activated right now, like we are moving in that direction. I think that personally, we should all have expectations for like the best outcomes regarding the transformative processes that are underway right now. However, we do need to also realize that on a collective level, like I'm telling you guys, this is there is going to be, you know, both destruction and creation going on. There is likely to be a lot of things, you know, heating up, okay, shifting power dynamics and it, 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 um, volatility okay um things happening in kind of like maybe an eruptive fashion like serious power players kind of like coming to a head and again like these like clashes of wills leading to these major collective transformations in power holders and like power brokers on a collective level like 
this is very much so being indicated this month as well. I do see, um, especially kind of like the second week of this month as a very red flag month of this year. Um, but again, like, I don't think this necessarily has to apply to our personal lives. I think that we are likely to see on the collective, like on a collective level, uh, things really heating up and coming to a boiling point. Um, but if we stay focused on personal growth and personal transformation and in alignment with, you know, like the soul calling and, you know, the mission that we know we need to move towards right now. And if we allow ourselves to manifest the more positive octaves of some Mars energy that's really Really about to be on blast and very uh fired up and empowered over the course of this month um reclaiming personal power you know determination courage strength motivation to assert ourselves and accomplish something to move towards a goal to you know uh, accomplish a mission we're gonna have a lot of that going on as well as this month unfolds so now let's go more in depth into this energy let's look at it week by week i've already told you guys a little bit about how these weeks are functioning um but i really do feel like by the time we get to the end of this month we are going to have gone through a collective reset somehow because you know of all these personal planets hitting Pluto at zero degrees of Aquarius. This is like us getting like each planet that goes through, whether, you know, the first week it's Mercury that we're going to be talking about. This is our mind like regenerating, purging, you know, everything from the past that has been attaching us to these thought forms and these structures that have been stabilizing our reality on one hand, but limiting our growth on the other hand and limiting our ability to, you know, see various forms of potential and to create from that level like some type of mental charge mental regeneration mental rebirth um something along those lines or like information also that is very powerful that have could have a very transformative effect or just ex experiences or transactions or conversations or meetings or something that are going on that are you know life changing on some level like this is life changing stuff that's coming through when we're talking about these personal planets so, you know, that's what I'm saying. Like on one hand, you know, this month of February, hugely, hugely personally transformative and it's for the better. Like it's personal evolution. It's personal upgrading. It's making us better. It's making us stronger. It's, you know, making us more powerful as individual creators. This is a hugely, hugely powerful month for any type of like creative self-expression okay as well with the venus mars conjunction that is also coming in in aquarius at the end of the month with the moon and leo in opposition hugely powerful and potent energy for creating a new okay um and it's starting the first week of february implicating the mental energy the second week it will be the physical energy our actual bodies the third week it will be our preferences our desires our relationships our values what we want and that will complete it we've also got the moon hitting uh pluto zero degrees aquarius also and like i said we entered this Pluto Aquarius energy with the sun. So the sun archetypal energy existing with all of us has already gone through this reboot by the time that we get to the month of February. So now everything else is following along behind it and we are starting uh, that off this first week of February going to be a week of implementing personal changes in ways that are both permanent and also extremely transformative. Personal upgrades underway. We are probably like consciously redefining ourselves somehow. Another very unusual week though, as a consequence of a lot of the personal changes that are underway. If people are going through this process of this like internalized shift and awakening and you know, the way that we think is changing, then you can bet that the way that we, you know, are acting, the way that we're interacting, the choices that we're making, what we're, you know, magnetized and gravitated towards, those things are also changing, which will be manifest as Mars, the energy, the action, the behavior comes through the next week. And then Venus, the preferences, you know, the desires, the values comes through the following week after that. But the mind energy, the mental energy, 
this is what is um, setting this off. Very powerful or transformative information could really be coming through this first week as well. Powerful news, information, conversations, transactions, all that stuff that I was talking about earlier, exchanges of things. Could also have to do with the voice, could have to do with the mouth when we're talking about you know, Mercury, the messenger planet, most likely indicating though some type of new beginning that is set to unfold throughout the course of the next 20 years. That's another thing about this energy. While it is the reset, right? It is the reboot. This is a 20 year process of evolution and, you know, we're clearing the decks. Okay. And, you know, preparing for this process of transformation and growth in this radical new direction, but it's not, you know, necessarily going to be something that is start to finish instantaneous. It's like the seeds are being planted or the spark is being lit for this process, this illumination that's going to continue to grow or, you know, this seed that's going to continue to develop over this period of time. But, you know, the awareness of it, the awakening to it, the movement towards it, the activation of it, uh, like I said, you know, the charge or the ignition somehow of that process is what this energy right now is, you know, is activating or bringing to fruition for us. So a new beginning of some kind, a new phase of something being initiated in the energy in the month of February, transformative, empowering the mind, the voice, the ability to communicate as well, changing the way we think. Think. We also have Uranus energy that is being activated this first week and moving into the second week. We have Sun squaring Uranus. The Sun's actually going to be in square to Uranus for the new moon that is coming in week two, which we will get to in just a minute. But um, Venus squaring Chiron as well. There could be, you know, as a part of this process, some uh, relationship wounds that are coming up, some maybe states of victimhood that we've been dealing with or trying to overcome or have been playing a role for us somehow or that we've been coming up against somehow as a result maybe of you know past relationships or also things to do with like finances but like issues with self-worth could definitely be wrapped up up in the way that energy is coming together as we are, you know, entering this first week of February as well as a result of a Venus Chiron conjunction that we have going on. And we have to remember also, and you know, we're going to be talking about this moving through this report, we have arrived at the two week window where the North Node and Chiron are about to be an exact conjunction in Aries. This alignment comes into fruition on the 11th of February and it is exact until the 25th of February. So we've got 14 days where these two bodies, Chiron and the North Node, are sharing a degree. The North Node, this is collective, you know, the collective evolutionary path right now. It's the destiny point, okay? And then Chiron, of course, the wounded healer, teacher, master archetype representing the hero's journey. Again, like I was talking about earlier, you know, irritates or creates states of you know wounding and victimhood and trauma so that we have to go through this course in self mastery so that you know we have to go through this process of self discovery and learning to overcome and learning to release and learning to you know forgive and learning to extract the power from the pain that we've experienced and use that as a catalyst to our own you know co-creation and self-mastery and essentially freedom to, you know, move through life in a much more powerful way when we are not defined by and not controlled by, you know, the limitations that have been presented by the states of victimhood and the unhealed traumas and wounds that we've held within us in the past, okay? Um, this month is also bringing up a lot of black moon energy that we'll be talking about. We have a full moon in Virgo that will be activating the black moon. We're going to be clearing a lot of the shadows though, you guys. We might be navigating through a lot of the shadows that have held us back in the past. We really might be slaying some of the demons and some of the dragons that, uh, you know, maybe we've been afraid to conquer or felt unable to conquer at various points in our journey up until now. But, um, we are overcoming and we are coming ultimately to a place of 
very much enhanced levels of you know self-empowerment taking back personal power reclaiming personal power as a part of this process so big things are in the process of happening necessary corrections are also being made um and it's just a very transformative week you guys mentally verbally the informational function and component of things that is empowering the mind empowering the voice don't be surprised if people are speaking up in some you know powerful ways there's just some really i mean when we're talking about a zero degree aquarius mercury pluto conjunction this could also be like this is also making me think of like some you know technology um inventions innovation like there could be some type of like big announcement about some type of like new technology this is also going to be a tech revolution we've got to realize this next 20 years with pluto and the sign of capricorn like we're moving towards you know uh what we would conceive of as more of like a sci-fi world moving forward like there's going to be a lot of uh innovation coming you know uh science technology medicine all types of stuff as we're you know moving towards the age of aquarius this is the age of understanding an age of knowledge and empower self-empowerment through that knowledge it all keeps coming back to this same uh focus on the informational component of things and this is going to be powerful mercury rules information mercury is the messenger planet so and you know this is the air sign energy also that is being empowered so there's just likely to be you know powerful announcements powerful proclamations powerful information power Powerful ideas as well revolutionary ideas uh we're also this is a pff, revolution and rebellion you guys like off the richter scales of po probable potential okay the way that energy is functioning this month there is a lot of earth energy that we have going on as well um and also the venus chiron square financial resource material economic institution government based stuff could be relevant faded change shocks and unexpected occurrences damage wounding necessary for healing when we've got a strong chiron emphasis that we're gonna have this entire month i mean really to start the month the whole Whole month is really a reflection of this north node chiron energy this whole month is likely to feel somewhat like a hero's journey for all of us on some level we are likely to find ourselves you know overcoming things that we may not have thought possible but you know the flip side of that seeing ourselves from a whole new lens of perspective and possibility and potential so you know upsetting the peace yeah upsetting the comfort zone and the status quo absolutely unpredictable unexpected the weather also could really be all over the place you know you might want to be more weather aware whenever we've got a strong uranian emphasis in that earth sign of taurus there could just be like sudden big storms and specifically like electrical storms thunderstorms tornadoes and stuff like that also coming out of nowhere so you know maybe just like keep an eye on or just try to be a little bit conscious of what's going on along those lines as well especially if you are you know live in areas that can have strong weather that comes out of nowhere um but you know the unpredictability the unexpected nature of things is likely to apply sort of to everything relationships partnerships could be you know kind of on the chopping block also faded release of all things related to the Libra energy as we move through this first week, relationships, partnerships, value systems, uh, ways of dealing with or our relationship to the material world and like money and material possessions, assets, you know, resources, all that type of stuff as well. Um, people are just going to start visibly changing this week in unexpected ways. I do think, and I feel like this is applies to every week this month the whole month of february make plans and act consciously in ways to regenerate heal or transform your life to the better and mind your own business i do feel like that is going to be the best way to navigate this energy people are going to be going through so many intense intense like life-changing experiences on a very individual and personal level um trying to control anybody else's process or anybody else's reaction to their experience i don't think that's uh our best way to navigate life in this energy we need to be self-governing okay like i said we need to uh focus on like our moral compass we need to act in integrity we need to do what's right and we need to uh, like 
well, expect the best also, but also, you know, pay attention to ourselves. Like we need to really self-discipline, self-control, self-regulate, you know, make our plans, you know, act on our plans, reorganize our life, transform what's not working, but make that be applying to the self and make sure that we are not projecting that outward and trying to like overlay that energy on other people or other people's experiences because we feel out of control you know in and of ourselves so like unconsciously we're like yes so maybe if i just control everything going on outside of me then i will feel more in control that's the opposite way to use our energy in this energy we want to use our energy to control ourselves if we feel out of control in our lives to make changes and improvements so that we do feel more stable in perhaps a lack of general stability and not try to you know exert those forces outwards that's literally just going to work against you know whatever we've got going on and we're ultimately likely to feel even more insecure and unstable and like all over the place if that is like the tactics that we're trying to implement right now um the galactic fixer is at work you guys there is a cosmic reset going on right now like i said and things are being handled and reorganized on a higher level and um you know, doing what we can as long as it's received, you know, if, if we know it's beneficial, if, you know, if, if, if the, you know, the wisdom or the advice that we're offering, the assistance that we're offering is benefiting the situation, then that's one thing. But if, you know, we find or ourselves or we feel like we're just like banging our head against a wall in some way and not getting anywhere with whatever the situation is, that's not the path. That's not the way we need to uh, reorient our use of energy in a way that is more productive to our growth or change or transformation or whatever we got going on somehow right now. Oh, let's move on now and talk about uh, week two. Week two of the month of February. I mean, this whole week is likely to be real, real intense. To me, this whole week is a red flag week. Um, especially the 13th, really uh, the 12th, the 11th, the 12th, the 13th, the 14th, but specifically narrowing in on the 13th. Um, we're just going to want to proceed with caution, you guys. Uh, we start the week on the 8th with our moon Pluto zero degree conjunction. The sun is exactly square Uranus. Venus is actually exactly trying Uranus. We have all planets aspecting each other in one way or another. Something, you know, quite bizarre, insane, weird, unusual is likely to happen to, you know, open the week on the 8th. I don't know what it is, but it looks like something, you know, surprising, shocking, again, like deeply transformative, could be like on financial or like resource material based levels with the um, Uranus in the sign of Taurus. Aquarius uh, with the sun and but it's fixed square. This is definitely like, you know, bringing some type of powerful forces to a head in, in some way that is going to have some type of unexpected outcome. Expect the unexpected for sure moving into the second week and with the moon and Pluto also together at that zero degrees, you know, some type of powerful uh, emotional something emotional energy that is driving the change or bringing the things to a head somehow uh you know pluto the moon zero aquarius right and then also sun in aquarius squaring uranus who is ruling aquarius so there could be some type of you know breakthrough some type of like just very powerful forces coming up against each other that is bound to generate some type of powerful transformation that could be humming things coming to a head this week on the ninth we have our new moon in aquarius of course that's going to be in a square to uranus sun moon in aquarius square uranus mercury will be trying jupiter venus will be trying uranus big news major shakeups on the 11th that is the day where we have the north node move into exact conjunction with chiron like really heavy handedly activating this hero's journey um there could be be some damage being done this week somehow there could be some wounding that is expressing itself but this is very important whatever along those lines may be manifesting any 
states of victimhood or wounding or damage or you know violence or whatever I don't know it sounds really crazy to you kind of even like say this but like there is some type of like higher plan involved in this too like whatever wounding is happening now is actually like the next step in our personal growth like in our trajectory towards this destined path that we are being like compulsively to drawn towards right now so we really need to even in the face of what may feel like an unfortunate incident or event or you know something that might be hurting us or something that might be wounding us we need to be able to see it as a blessing somehow like we need to be able to see uh you know we need to be able to take that you know whatever that is and say good good this means that I'm about to overcome something. This means that I'm about to heal from something. This means that I am about to find a courage or a strength within myself that I didn't know was there. I'm about to take power back. I'm about to re-identify myself. I'm about to discover a purpose or a destiny. That is how this energy is functioning. Again, on a personal level, this does not have to be something that is like a downfall to our experience somehow or that we are perceiving as like some type of like negative event in our lives now on a collective world stage just because of the way that the other energy is coming together this week like like I said you know it's just triggering red flags for me on the the 12th and the 13th the 14th we have Mars and Pluto exact conjunction at zero degrees of Aquarius this is rebellion this is revolution like uh with the most power behind it possible okay um zero degrees of Aquarius um you know we could see battles raging with this like major of course transformations and shifting power dynamics would be represented here but this is also just like pure you know combustion like this is pure like unfiltered masculine energy um you know, valentine's day is probably going to be an interesting experience this year uh i feel like there's gonna probably likely to just be a lot of like you know the fighting and power struggles and things coming up against each other things coming to a head this is the as I said you know the utmost in empowerment of the masculine Martian energy for both better and for worse so you know on one hand what is Mars anger rage violence war right aggression domination with Pluto there obsession also on the other hand though what is mars right courage strength motivation willpower passion like the drive to defend and protect and to fight for you know a righteous cause and purpose and you know the zero degrees of aquarius this revolution rebellion dynamic change and transformation with pluto there death and rebirth uh generational shifting power dynamics change regeneration transformation you know true wealth true power in all of its forms um we could literally see some very powerful masculine figures coming up against each other or you know forces representing uh like the masculine energy that are expressing themselves somehow but it is going to be for better and for worse there's definitely going to be octaves of this energy playing out i feel like that are provoking these you know more like violent rage aggression battle war type of circumstances and situations especially with the north node chiron you guys see why i'm kind of like eh about this week because you know it would be one thing if we just had north node and chiron indicating perhaps some type of like collective wounding process that is ultimately leading to this collective self-empowerment and wisdom gain that's underway right however you know in the combination with the mars pluto conjunction at zero aquarius those two things like both happening simultaneously remember mars rules aries where the north node and chiron are coming together and mars is with pluto so it's some type it's it's, it's a personal revolution or rebellion somehow that could be 
sending us on this hero's journey or you know maybe it's the wounding or the damage that gets done that is you know provoking this divine masculine hopefully expression of this energy or just this you know hypercharged masculine energy to be exhibiting itself more freely but it's gonna be freaking nuts you guys i do believe you know revolution on the horizon radical change perhaps the fight for that being willing to fight for that uh in some regard this is what i feel like the week is looking like week two very 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 intense um and remember you know the first week like i was saying this is our mind that is going through this powerful reset this powerful regeneration this second week like on a more personal level it's mars it's our actions it's our behaviors it's our energy what we are doing okay you could find people acting in some very strange ways very out of character um as the second week unfolds and also people are just likely to be you know coming coming to a point where they're not going to stand against things that are stealing their power um you know any forces also where there is just too much control being you know exhibited over a situation this is where you're going to see the rebellion this is where you're going to see like that revolutionary energy being amplified and exemplified whenever um the force that would seek to move us forward right to have us like advance on this quest to personal growth finding our purpose activating destiny overcoming past states of victimhood also being released from karmic cycles when we're dealing with the chiron influence like that's definitely another aspect of this that we've been talking about also with this pluto reset that's also what this is is it's like releasing us from the karmic cycles associated with the past experiences the past dimensions of ourselves the past mental states the past you know versions of our energy body and then coming up here this next week that we're going to get into along the lines of the venetian energy as well and then mars and venus will come together for three days like uh just this personal you know very personal revolutions going on very heated energetic environment very very intense and making personal changes right we've got our mind in the game now has gone through this transformation and now the way that we are acting the way that we are moving is also going forward through this transformative process getting in alignment with that you know orchestrating you know scheduling our lives in a way that is enhancing that process right now like feeding our own transformation that's what we want to be doing in the midst of everything that might feel like it's crumbling around us, okay, as we move through this month that is really redefining our reality in a lot of ways. Moving into the third week, you guys, um, this week we have Venus coming into an exact conjunction with Pluto at zero degrees of Aquarius on the 16th. Revolution, rebellion, transformation of the heart, you know, also people are going to be changing their physical appearance with this. This is going to be sudden radical transformation to the way that people the image okay that people have identified with have attached to and have manifested physically this is people like undergoing you know changes to their appearance this is also perhaps pulverizing a level of peace balance stability status quo associated harmony associated with the past as venus hits pluto death and rebirth okay um of our preferences our desires our appearance our value system radical personal change and now we have the desire to do so maybe when mercury was there and the sun was there and the moon and you know mars maybe up until this point of time we felt ourselves changing we've been getting carried away sort of by the tides of change like we've been feeling you know called towards this like uh maybe like uncontrollable process of change but now that venus is coming there i feel like we're going to want to i feel like it's not just going to be something that like we think we should do or like we know that we need to act on but now it's like oh I actually have the desire to do this like this change this transformational process I'm going through like this is actually what I value this is actually what I want this is actually like what I'm prioritizing in my life right now so you know also of course 
obviously this is going to bring major changes regeneration death and rebirth endings and beginnings in regards to relationships and partnerships and this is also extremely being emphasized to us by the fact that it's venus and mars now traveling together actually you know for both mars and we'll talk about this if you guys you know come back with me for my daily videos as we are moving through these weeks and talking about this energy in real time we will talk further about these dynamics and how of course you know if it's mars hitting zero degrees one week and then venus hitting zero degrees the next week that obviously must mean that mars and venus are traveling together even though i haven't necessarily stated that so far in this video but that's actually what's going on mars and venus are traveling in proximity to one another while we go through this reboot regeneration um what did i call it uh, reset process. Um, so relationship dynamics, partnership dynamics, the creative process itself is very much intertwined in what's being reset, regenerated, rebooted right now with the way that this energy is functioning and coming together. But you know, specifically week three, it is Venus in the conjunction to Pluto zero degrees, even though Mars is right there as well. It's not until the next week that we the fourth week that we actually get this three-day Mars Pluto conjunction or no Mars Venus conjunction where they are traveling together after they have both gone through their independent conjunctions to Pluto so it if relationship you guys if relationships are coming to an end right now it might be difficult it might be painful you know it might be it might be very uncomfortable it might provoke a lot of uncertainty a lot of insecurity a lot of states of victimhood that you know it might put us on this hero's journey however there are some very like faded magnetic new alignments that are going to come in not long like literally right kind of on the heels of whatever could be dissolving, destructing, combusting, falling away right now. Um, so keep the faith. Um, there's not, it doesn't look like because of the Mars Venus conjunction that is coming right after this, like there's going to be some type of union somehow. Like there, it's either going to be, you know, friends, companions, like romantic partners, something, some type of wholeness okay or maybe it's just like wholeness or union like within and of ourselves like maybe it's creating maybe like this process of regeneration that we're going through is creating a greater ability to come to a state of balance and security within ourselves but like something we're not going to feel like if we feel like something's being destroyed or ripped away from us along the relationship lines in this energy um that is not going to be the thing that like persists and maintains like there's going to be some type of an internalized state of wholeness balance integration or something that that uh comes into fruition as once we get to the fourth week so don't despair you guys if it's a really bumpy road and you know there's some painful relationship stuff going on or just some um some you know wounds to the heart or something that we feel like we're dealing with throughout this first couple of weeks of uh the month of February. Um, of course, you know, this is indicating those major changes in relationships, finances, but it's also remember bringing this desire for change. It's also bringing, you know, a powerful, a very powerful drive and passion to move forward, to fix something, to change something, to evolve, to heal, to grow somehow. Very potent creative force energy that is going to be coming in. That's, and it's also like, this also kind of makes me think of um you know maybe going through some type of ending in a relationship or painful situation or like heartbreak on some level but then like some type of creative force or something that is like spawned as a result of that that really brings us back to life and reinvigorates us somehow as we begin to move through this fourth week like something along those lines very potent creative force is following right on the heels of you know, maybe the blank space that is left after Mercury, Mars, Sun, Moon, and Venus all hit that zero degree Pluto. But, you know, of course, you know, shifting power dynamics in relationships, in partnerships, in commitments. But 
simultaneously this very extreme level of magnetism also repulsion magnetism and repulsion and passions running super high more of the shock factor vibes as well uh keep in mind you guys venus this third week entering the sign of aquarius where do we always talk about uranus being uranus is in the sign of taurus and uranus is ruled by venus right well now we have venus entering the sign of aquarius which is ruled by uranus so we're sunny up with a venus uranus mutual reception which is like its own magic okay so there's really nothing to fear here this is totally like divine intervention in the realms of relationships this is the galactic fixer that is driving these transformations there is a need this it has to be authentic if if there is um if if relationships in your life or in your world are operating from any level that is like lacking authenticity in any way this is that is what can no longer proceed forth because anything that is lacking authenticity right now is simultaneously functioning as a blockage to authentic growth and potential so towers are definitely coming down here you know patterns that we've been in for long periods of time relationships that we've been in you know value systems or just preferences or desires maybe that we've been attached to all these types of things likely to kind of come unglued in this energy if they are in any way distorting our potential distorting our view of ourself or our value or our potential uranus in the sign of taurus you guys i've been talking about this for years now this is activating authentic potential showing us the true inner value or the true resources within in a way that is in alignment with this like soul calling higher you know activating of destiny this higher potential that we're being called to this higher purpose right that the potential that we are discovering leads us to like activate and move towards right now in accordance with this transition into the age of aquarius and this new pluto aquarius generation and all the stuff that's associated with that that i always talk about um this is it you know like tis the season tis the week of change that we are ready to move towards and that we are finally embracing also with the mercury uranus uh or not mercury with the venus uranus mutual reception but it's for the best okay these are blessings in disguise silver linings and as much as like the repulsive force is pulling us away from what is no longer an authentic match for us right now there is also this divine level and layer of magnetism that is also coming in gravitating us pulling us towards that which is a true fit for us okay so um we are rewiring you know what we're attracted to also i feel like as this venus uranus mutual reception venus pluto zero degree aquarius conjunction comes in as well blessings in disguise fading ending faded endings and beginnings in relationships but growth and change moving into our last week of the month of february oh and of course february this february 2024 is also a leap year you guys because why wouldn't it be in the context of all of the uranium energy that we have so present right now one of our oddball years so we will also be talking about february 29th astrology um but we've you know starting this week right off that is the day on the 21st when we do have venus and mars come together for the first time at six degrees of aquarius six seven and eight degrees of aquarius these are the degrees where mars and venus are coming into a conjunction and will be traveling together this is also happening in a square to Jupiter. Um, all week, you guys, there is a very strong energy for some type of empowered creative process. Creative power, this attraction, this magnetism, this internal rebalancing, regeneration, of course, integration, like sense of like two pieces coming together in a way that creates a greater sense of wholeness and self-empowerment also this balancing of masculine and feminine dynamics within after we've gone through this plutonic regeneration and reset relationship dynamics of course you guys very strong themes this last week 
Venus and Mars together, that's always going to bring up relationship dynamics, but we also have still the uh, Chiron North Node conjunction going on. We are on this destined hero's journey to recover our personal power, to heal old wounds, which this also could represent. This could be um, healing on some deeper levels from old wounds and relationships with this union of Venus and Mars as well. But it is, I just feel like it's, you know, providing this very powerful creative window for us to regenerate ourselves somehow right um and the the other side of the energy this week that is coming in alongside our full moon on the 24th moving through the rest of the week really uh and hitting its climax on the 28th is the sun mercury and saturn coming into an exact conjunction i was talking about this a bit earlier uh, this, because it's happening in the sign of Pisces, normally, you know, it, Mercury is the mind, right? Saturn, this is about control. This is about limitation. This is about like rules and restrictions. This is about the past. And then the sun, this is this other, you know, um, very powerful, like masculine energy, a Authority. The sun and Saturn together can be like a very restrictive time generally, but we're talking about where we're, we're, we're coming up against a lot of like rules and authority that we feel like is having a level of control over us. But the thing is like this is happening in the sign of Pisces. Pisces energy, it breaks things down. It dissolves things. You know, Pisces is the last sign of the zodiac. It's about uh, merging back into like oneness to begin this new creative process. It's the dream dream world it's the illusion right so on one hand where this energy might normally resonate to some type of you know strong control that's being exerted over the over information or over the mind or you know just generally like rules that are being implemented I feel like actually it may be the lack of those things this is also the sun and Saturn invisible there's a breakdown in centralized control going on right now. Breakdown in rules, authority, and discipline could be a facet of how this energy is coming through. And also the full moon in Virgo that's happening on the 24th as this collective like morphogenic field that we have been in comprised of this empowered Capricornian energy that has been directing collective attention and you know the direction of things generally uh I feel like is dissolving is becoming fuzzy is um also perhaps representing a fog or a haze or an illusion or a lack of clarity that is lifting that is clearing in regards to the past or in regards to control systems or to various rules or laws or judgments or like the way that things have been and have been established to be for long periods of time like we could also be gaining with mercury in the sun there in the sign of pisces some and all of this plutonic energy all these pl mercury and you know the sun have both been through their conjunction with pluto at zero degrees like there could be something that we are discovering or figuring out about the past that is causing a change or a shift in the rules that we are willing to follow or just the way that we are operating or the authority is somehow operating, you know, while this, as we move through this full moon energy in this, this last week, I also think, like I said in the beginning though, this is going to be putting the brakes on some things. Pisces is a slow moving energy. Saturn is a very slow moving planet. Of course, that limits things that restrains things that holds them back. And we have been in an energy that has been like all about this combustion, this forward movement, like no brakes, all firepower, all electric force launching us forward over this past couple of weeks I do feel like something is like stopping us in our tracks this last week with this conjunction with Mercury Sun Saturn um self-discipline self-control like moral conviction okay moral compass follow it also like intuitive hunches intuitive urges and stuff like that could be very strong with all these zero degree Pluto Aquarius conjunctions this is also honestly like epiphanies flashes of insight sudden downloads and a very prophetic energy especially in regards to what we personally can do should do need to do greater level of understanding awakening pisces this is the dream state right aquarius this is the wake-up call um so i don't know you guys like it's just looking like 
first of all, it's looking like a very dynamic, sort of like off the wall type of month. People spontaneously undergoing some really radical changes internally, externally, that's rippling out into, you know, big things happening in relationships, choices and decisions, the way that we are thinking generally changing what we are and are not willing to stand for and tolerate, you know, this willingness to fight for the truth, for freedom, for, you know, revolution also uh this very rebellious energy um and these power struggles and this very powerful masculine energy that's also present throughout the course of this month but something coming through this last week that is just having us you know slam the brakes on and it's also you know it's serious and it's somber and it's sober you know borderline almost like dire type of energy like we're just you know hold on, like I've got to handle this or I've got to, uh, I just got to slow down and like really pay attention to this or something. Consequences, karma, lessons, judgment, betrayal, lies, broken trust in systems, institutions, and governments uh, could be a manifestation of this Mercury, Saturn, Sun, Pisces energy that we have going on as we close out this month. Also, you know, with the Pisces energy, this could have to do with illness or disease. Also things related to maturity or mortality somehow with the Saturnian energy right there. But, um, you know, on one hand, we do have this amped up energy with Mars and square to Jupiter. We'll be talking about this, you know, as we move through this last week and we're doing the live video or not live videos, but we're um, doing the like, you know, in the moment interpretations of the energy, the weekly daily videos. But there is just, we're, we're sobering up, we're serious, we're taking something seriously, I feel like, as we hit the last week of February, which brings us to the end of our report. This has been a super long one, you guys, so I'm not going to, you know, re-summarize all this energy, but just to kind of, like, encapsulate things, cliff notes to reiterate week one mercury pluto conjunction zero degrees uh, aquarius and week two both the moon and mars can join pluto at zero degrees of aquarius week three venus conjoins pluto at zero degrees of aquarius um, and week four mars and venus move together for three days and then we've got this triplicity conjunction mercury saturn and the sun coming together of course new moon and aquarius full moon in Virgo second week and fourth week as well and we've got squares to Uranus uh playing out all throughout and a big Chiron north node conjunction that is defining the majority of this month as well so we're on a hero's journey this month you guys and there is a collective energetic reboot going on right now people are going to be changing um and we're gonna be you know, finding layers and dimensions of ourselves and strengths and capabilities and resources within that uh, we didn't know we were. A lot of people, I feel like, are going to be waking up and seeing themselves in like a totally different light. And as a result of that, totally altering the way that they are doing life across the board. We're talking about all these personal planets. Literally in less than one month, we have had or we will have had the sun, the moon, Mercury, Venus, and Mars all conjoin Pluto at zero degrees of the sign of Aquarius, which is just a critical degree, powerhouse degree, major personal transformation is going to manifest, you guys. And then something slows us down, though, as we get towards the end of the month. And we need to focus on our personal growth for best results, for sure. This card is the card... What did I just say? We need to focus on our personal growth. What does this card say? You guys saw that. You guys saw that fly out right when I said that? It says focus. Thou will keep him in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on thee. Isaiah 26, 3. Focus your thoughts on God and on that part of you that is God. Tune in on God and his serenity over your life. When you can still your mind and think of God and be at peace in your mind, everything around you will fall into a peaceful routine in your home life, your business, and in all aspects of your life. Stay in this state of mind and you will prosper beyond your wildest dreams. So as we are going through our personal 
revolutions, as we are going through our personal transformations, and as the mental energy field is becoming the dominant, powerful force in creating reality and, you know, dictating essentially the way things unfold for us moving forward, we need to focus on our inner knowing that everything is happening according to a higher plan right now that is in alignment with truly you know our next phase of soul growth uh and evolution and everything is working for us in this energy and our job is to get in alignment with the changes that we're being called towards now so focus on that you guys that's what i have to say today uh the month of february 2024 i hope you guys liked it if you did like it please give me a thumbs up subscribe to my channel share it with your friends you guys if you think that they would also enjoy narrating the shift of the ages with us leave me comments i really appreciate your presence here i am so grateful for you guys if you are having experiences that line up with what i'm talking about in these videos any videos let me know in my comment section below I really um, value and appreciate that information. I love you guys. Thank you so much for being here. If you want to know what I write on these whiteboards, I have a Facebook group linked in my description box below where I post photos of those. Janice Shalman, the creator of the Synchronicity Cards, also posts pictures of the Synchronicity Cards. So if you want to see those a bit closer, that's where you find those as well. And come back with me next time, you guys. Um, we're going to be getting right into this month of February. And as you know, we have mercury pluto energy that we need to talk about moving forward this week so i will be here to talk about it you should be here too you don't want to miss it i will see you next time guys have a beautiful day and until then bye